Your kidneys are essential organs that carry out a wide range of critical tasks, including hormone production, waste elimination, mineral balance, blood filtering, and fluid balance maintenance. On the other hand, fluid can gather in your body and waste can build up in your blood when your kidneys are damaged and unable to operate correctly. Serious health issues like excessive blood pressure, anemia, bone disease, and heart disease may result from this. A bad diet is one of the main causes of kidney injury. Overconsumption of some foods can overburden your kidneys with toxic compounds such as oxalate, potassium, phosphorus, and sodium. These compounds have the potential to induce inflammation, damage the delicate tissues that filter your blood, and build crystals in your kidneys. What are the eight foods that if you have kidney disease or wish to prevent it, you should limit or avoid? Let's start. Number 1. Colored Soda Though soda seems like a harmless way to relieve your thirst, especially dark-colored beverages like cola, it really includes high phosphorus ingredients. Your kidneys require the mineral phosphorus for your proper function, but too much of it can be harmful. Excess phosphorus can accumulate in the blood when your kidneys are not functioning properly, which can lead to bone loss, heart problems, and irritation. Furthermore, soda has a lot of calories and sugar, all of which increase the risk of kidney disease along with obesity, diabetes, and high blood pressure. Dark-colored sodas should therefore be avoided or consumed in moderation. Instead, use fruit juice, herbal tea, or water. Number 2. Avocado Don't get me wrong, Avocados are a superfood that are packed with antioxidants, fiber, and good fats. Avocados are one of the biggest sources of potassium so you should be cautious about how much you eat if you have kidney illness. Another element that your kidneys need to manage is potassium, but too much of it can lead to cardiac arrest, weak muscles, and irregular heartbeats. An avocado of average size contains an astounding 690 mg of potassium, which is over 15% of the daily recommended consumption for individuals with kidney disease. Thus, if you're an avocado lover, cut back on your consumption to one-fourth of an avocado or stay away from it entirely if your potassium level is too high. Number 3. Processed Meat Ham, bacon, sausage, hot dogs, lunch meats, chicken tenders, nuggets, and more are examples of processed meat. These meals are heavy in phosphorus, which we already mentioned, as well as sodium, which can harm your kidneys and increase blood pressure. Furthermore, nitrates and other preservatives found in processed beef raise your chance of developing cancer and chronic renal disease. Those who consume the most processed meat had 76% higher risk of having kidney failure than those who consume the least, according to a study including nearly 6,000 participants. As a result, you should steer clear or consume less processed meat in favor of fresh, lean, organic meat. Number 4. Salt The most prevalent and visible source of sodium in your diet is salt, which can be harmful to your kidneys. Sodium can raise blood pressure and lead your body to retain extra fluid, which can harm your kidneys and raise your risk of heart disease and stroke. Therefore, you should use other seasonings to flavor your meals such as herbs, spices, vinegar, lemon juice, or salt-free mixes and avoid or use salt as little as possible if you have renal illness. Number 5. Dairy Products Dairy items comprise ice cream, yogurt, cheese, milk, and other foods. These meals are high in protein, calcium, and vitamin D nutrients that are beneficial to your immune system, muscles, and bones. Dairy products do include a lot of potassium and phosphorus though, and too much of either can be harmful to your kidneys. 366 mg of potassium and 233 mg of phosphorus are roughly 8% and 23% of the daily limit for those with kidney disease respectively are found in one cup of milk. Dairy products can also raise your acid load, which means your kidneys will have to work more to keep your blood pH balanced. As a result, you want to minimize or stay away from dairy products and stick to plant-based substitutes like rice, oat, almond, or soy milk. Number 6. Canned Soup Though it appears like a quick and cozy dinner, canned soup is actually very high in salt which can seriously harm your kidneys and blood pressure. 
with 831 milligram of salt per cup, canned chicken noodle soup surpasses the daily threshold for individuals with renal disease. Additionally, potassium chloride, a salt alternative that raises the potassium content of your diet, is added to some canned soups. Before purchasing or consuming any canned soup, make sure you thoroughly check the ingredient list as some may include potassium chloride. As a result, You ought to stay away from or consume less canned soup and create your own using a low sodium broth and fresh ingredients. Number 7. Banana Although they are one of the fruits with the highest potassium content, bananas are also an excellent source of energy, vitamin C, and fiber. About 422 mg of potassium or nearly 10% of the daily allowance for healthy individuals are found in a medium banana. However, this amount may be excessive for those with kidney illness, leading to hyperkalemia, a condition in which there is an excess of potassium in the blood. Serious side effects include nausea, vomiting, chest pain, and even that can result for hyperkalemia. Thus, fruits with lower potassium content such as apples, berries, grapes, and pineapples are better choices if you have kidney illness and should be avoided or consumed in moderation. Number 8. Chocolate. I understand that this is difficult to hear because chocolate tastes good and has nutrients like flavonoids, antioxidants, and magnesium that are good for you. But chocolate also contains a lot of potassium and phosphorus, which if consumed in excess can be bad for your kidneys. 176 mg of potassium and 101 mg of phosphorus, or roughly 4% and 10% of the daily limit for individuals with kidney disease respectively, are found in 1 ounce of dark chocolate. Therefore, if you have a sweet tooth, you should only eat 1 or 2 little pieces of chocolate each time, or if your potassium or phosphorus levels are too high, you should avoid chocolate completely. These 8 foods then are seriously harming the health of your kidneys. You may safeguard your kidneys and stop additional harm by restricting or avoiding certain meals. But keep in mind that everyone has different demands. Therefore, the most crucial things to think about are your total diet and health objectives. Therefore, before modifying your diet in any manner, always get advice from a nutritionist or doctor. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let us know in the comments down below what are your low sodium recipes or tips for reducing sodium intake. You might also want to check out the other videos in our YouTube channel. Just click or top the videos below here. Thank you for watching.